Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here today. I appreciate you joining me. If you would like, share, and or comment on the post, I will appreciate it uh, greatly. And then we're going to look at uh, kind of a surprising uh, little turn of events here, beginning in chapter 15, verse 36. Uh, after some days, Paul said to Barnabas, let us return and visit the brothers in every city where we proclaim the word of the Lord and see how they are. Now, Barnabas wanted to take with him John, called Mark, but Paul thought best not to take with him with them one who had withdrawn from them in Pamphylia, Pamphylia uh, and had not gone with them to the work. Um, uh, I say a little surprising turn of events because we have the two great um, uh, men here uh, who have been so uh, actively involved in uh, the establishment of the church and the spreading of the gospel, having a disagreement. Uh, and ultimately, um, we're going to see that there uh, is a, uh, a strong disagreement between them to the point where they separate and go uh, in their, uh, their, their separate ways. Uh, and so uh, let's talk for a minute uh, about conflict. Um, and um, and what uh, the nature of conflict and uh, and how it works. This I think this would be uh, what we might call a um, a productive conflict, a legitimate conflict. Um, both men um, have. Um, one of them is not necessarily wrong, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think anybody who would be in Paul's shoes who have had already had Mark on a journey uh, and Mark bailed out and abandoned him, you could understand why Paul would be hesitant uh, to take him again. Uh, Barnabas, on the other hand, is being a, uh, an encourager, which was his nature, uh, being a supporter, wanting to give him a second chance, and he wants to take him. So it's hard to say that either one of them are actually um, uh, are actually wrong. They they have a genuine concern. This is not personal. Um, it doesn't. Um, it's not because one of them is trying to be in charge uh, or just trying to get his own way um, or uh, some tradition or jealousy. Uh, no real negative uh, intent here. Uh, Paul has a legitimate concern. Uh, Barnabas is trying to be a legitimate uh, supporter and uh, brother uh, to Mark. And so they are, um, uh, again, th there's both of them. Paul suggested they go. Barnabas is in agreement. Um, and so they both have the same objective. They just have a different idea. Uh, of how they should get there. They both want to see uh, the work of God uh, carried out, how best to accomplish the mission uh, that they were, uh, they were going to be. And it's important to understand that. Their debate here is not over the mission, uh, not over their purpose, um, but over the method. Uh, and uh, if we're going to have uh, conflict, if we're going to have disagreement, it, and that's where we need to be careful and focus um, that it's always uh, over the, the method, uh, not uh, the mission. Uh, and so that, that's what's important uh, about what's going on here. Uh, Barnabas believed that the best way to accomplish uh, the task was to take Mark with him. Uh, and uh, Barnabas uh, again, really believed that uh, obviously that Mark had uh, recommitted and, and was dedicated to this journey um, and that Mark really wanted to go. Uh, and uh, Barnabas really believed uh, in Mark. Uh, Paul, Barnabas loved Paul, obviously. Um, he had, uh, they had worked together and uh, had been involved in all the great ministry that they had done, um, and, uh, and so they're, they're, they're uh, again, Barnabas has a good purpose. Again, Paul um, 
he just, if nothing else, uh, he, he's thinking Mark will do it again, or he's a bad example uh, for these, these young churches we're going to. Uh, and so, again, it's a legitimate um, debate here. Um, it, I don't know if legitimate is the right word, an honest uh, conflict. Again, both of them have um, um, the, the best for the, the mission in mind. And the, the lesson, I think, for us is to understand um, that there's always going to be conflict, always has and always will be. Unfortunately, most conflict is selfish or jealous, um, and so we need to be cautious. Um, and, um, you know, I, I've been in committee meetings and deacons meetings um, where we had legitimate uh, both, both sides of a discussion had um, they had the same purpose in mind. They just had a different uh, idea of how we should um, should get there. Um, and uh, again, uh, we need to be sure uh, of our purposes, of our means. Uh, that again, that we're not acting out of jealousy or pride um, or just wanting to have our way or whatever. But um, trusting God to guide us uh, to find a, a mutual ground uh, where we can work together uh, to accomplish the purpose of God. Uh, and so even men like Paul and Barnabas have conflict. Conflict is unavoidable uh, in the human life. But as Christians, uh, it certainly should be handled differently than it is by the world. Think about it. Have a good day. We'll see you here tomorrow morning.